right, I am sat here with the two gentlemen, uh, Larry Weinstein uh, and Ludumo Lomati, ahead of uh, a next Boxing 5 tournament that you're going to announce. I'm going to let you guys announce the dates uh, for the tournament and the name of the tournament. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going. It's uh, 5th of May and it's called uh, City of Gold, uh, which has got a lot of meaning to Johannesburg. And uh, it's about time we started uh, looking um, at taking use, making use of our tournaments in Johannesburg. As we say, the new mecca of boxing in uh, Johannesburg, Gauteng. I know Ludum Malamati is from the Eastern Cape, so you might not agree with that. But uh, you guys are doing some good work down there in the Eastern Cape. Uh, can we just touch on that really quickly before we jump to the tournaments? Oh yeah, man, we're just busy with the grassroots there, with the amateurs. It's nice to be there. It reminds me when I was starting all this, but it's a good vibe to be around those kids, to try to show them the way, to try be, to be a better person tomorrow. You know, it's, 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 just, it, it, it's excitement, man. I just love what we're doing there. And we're gonna, they come in this side soon, but we're not gonna announce that next time. So yeah, it's exciting, man. All right, and uh, let's get straight into the bill. Um, main events of the evening, we'll start right from the top. A very good fight, Becky Maitze um, against Busi Uh What do you think of that fight, firstly? I mean, that's the main event. It's for the Gauteng title, if I'm not mistaken. It is. I'll let, let Leduma talk about that because he was the one he that put he put it together. So let him uh, tell us about it. I actually knew about that, so I should have come to you first. No, I like the fight. I like the fight, and I like Ellen Towell's guy. Um, He's, 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 he's always coming to fight and is a, is, a, is, a, is a professional champion by reason because he always show up and fight and he, he once fought one of my fighters, uh, I don't know, two years back and he injured him. So now he's fighting one of my fighters again. So I'm looking forward to this and it's exciting and he said on his last interview, he wants the father, he wants the son, and he wants the father. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know who's going to go to the father first, the son or him, I don't know. Do you get the feeling from Maitse that he will actually take his father on should he win this fight? Look, we don't know. We'll see. You never know in boxing. You sleep with this and then you wake up with this, but we don't know. It depends on them. I mean, from a promotional point of view, Larry, that would be a, a, a ticket seller, a father versus son in a ring. Uh, does that get your mind spinning, a potential future fight? Funny enough, uh, this was mentioned, Colin and I mentioned it quite a while ago when he was on our bill. But obviously, you know, there's all the, the family politics and we don't want to get, uh, start any family feuds. But obviously, uh, if it did happen, uh, it, it's, it's, it would be amazing. But for me, I think it, it comes with a bit of uh, baggage, so mm. maybe not. All right. So from a fan's point of view, I think we can always dream, right, uh, of stuff like that. Let's move over to the next fight on your bill. You've got uh, Tabang Ramakhole versus Frank Sotomella. I'm going to go to you with this one, Larry, because you promised Ramakhole another fight after DJ Creel failed to make weight. Um, you've seen the, that promise through, and you put him up against a young, well, not young, but a prospect in Frank Sotomella. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I feel for the boxers when they come to the way in and the fights fall flat. We've done it a few times to guys who didn't pitch up the next tournament we put them on because I think it's, even though you weighed in and he got his purse money, it doesn't matter. He didn't fight, we all want to fight. It's not about, it's about money to a point, but it's not all about the money. So we've, we've stuck to our word and we think, we think it's gonna be a, quite an a equal contest and I think, I think uh, Frank is ready for, to step up and, and this will be a nice uh, test for him. Obviously, Frank, a uh, young fighter uh, in terms of his fight if, uh, experience as a professional boxer, but a long amateur background. Ramakhole, exactly the same. Long amateur background, except he's got a long professional record. How do you see the fight playing out? It's a good fight, well matched, uh, well done to AB. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be... It's going to be a war, brother. And the guy's experience, I will say, in professional his experience, and I'm looking forward to that, and it's going to be a war. I'm looking forward to that. It's, a, it's, it's an exciting fighter, and as you know, Frank is explosive. He's a tall guy. Uh, he's gonna, we're looking for boxing. So the other guy's going to be looking to get in, and the other guy's going to be looking to put him out. It's, it's exciting. I can't wait for the fifth. It is an exciting fight. I've actually personally marked that down as my potential fight of the evening. Uh, so we're looking forward to some fireworks there, as you say. Uh, next fight is coming up, Katleko Kanisa. He's really uh, impressed. He comes up against uh, Romeo Makwakwa from uh, Malawi, a tough man. Uh, what do you expect of that fight? 
I uh, obviously uh, Kate is on the on the up, even though it's not he's not on the up from a weight point of view. He's coming down a division, yes. so he is the Gauteng champ in the weight that he was. But coming down now, he obviously can't take the title with, so now he starts again. But he's very keen to uh, apply his trade in this division, and I think he's a very exciting fighter. And we obviously love putting him on. He brings the crowd. He has the people on their feet. And uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's going to be an exciting fight. Uh, another opponent that pitched up uh, to, uh, to the way in to fight Caden Truter last time, except for some medical issues, was Makwakwa. He now gets the chance to fight Kakleko Kanisa, as uh, Larry rightfully mentions, at uh, the junior lightweight division. Um, what do you see uh, in Kat in the new division? Do you think he's going to be well suited to th uh, this division? I think he's gonna be well suited to this division. I think he was he was he was he was small on the on the on the lightweight, but he proved himself still on the junior light. I think he's gonna be more advantage. He's gonna have advantage. He's used two power punches from the lightweight, so this is good for him. I think so. We will see on the fifth. Right, and uh, the question will be answered on the fifth. Yeah, hundred percent. And I think uh, we've seen him. He makes weight quite easily as well. So I think uh, he'll be well suited. Uh, as well, and then uh, Omati Creed Moyo, he trains with uh, Shannon Stratum, he comes up against uh, Simpiwe Intombella, who we've seen in a boxing five ring before, uh, taking on Aaron Muteba previously. Um, what's your take on that fight? Well, Creed is another exciting fight, up and coming, and he's he was one of the latest signings with uh, No Doubt Management. Um, obviously, uh, because he's from Zimbabwe, Colin has gone the route of signing him through through his management company, which he manage, management uh, in the UAE, which is fantastic, you know, opportunity. Uh, we got a lot of hope, and we're really looking forward to Creed delivering. He's done his, his 4 and 0, if memory serves me correct, and he's always put on a good show, and he comes to please the crowd. He, he most certainly does that, but he also packs punching power as well, especially since he's moved up to the welterweight division. He's looking a new man. Um, what, what's your take on this fight in My particular? Take is with Creed all, and Creed yeah. is starting to build himself up. If you see when Creed is fighting, he's already growing a follow. Because Creed, yeah. people, is, they, his fans are keep coming, coming, growing. So he's exciting to watch. So he's growing his little pack. So he's, he's, he's someone we need to look to. He's something. It's going to surprise a lot of people, especially in that weight division. So I'm looking forward also to, uh, to create Moyo, Almighty Moyo. That is. Yeah. <laughs> Almighty there, and obviously the welterweight division is getting uh, stacked now. We've got a, another couple of welterweights that we'll be featuring throughout the year. Next, we move to the light heavyweight division. Uh, Tuvia, Tuvia Viviji taking on Keegan Mills. Um, that comes another box out of Alan Tawil's stable. Um, what's your take on that one? You know, Alan, is, he, I think he's moved up a division, if memory serves me correct, because he's fought on our tournaments before. And uh, he is a fighter that uh, puts on a good show. Um, so we've put him on because obviously with our tournaments, you know, you can't, you can't put on everyone's boxes, but we, we like working with Alan. You know, from a point of view, it's, he's a special place with the, with the Tawils and the Weinsteins. So where we can, we try and put on his fighters. And uh, hopefully, you know, he's going to show the promise that Alan thinks he has. And uh, we look forward to it. And it's always good to have, you know, a lot of our tournaments, we seem to have these lightweight fighters. Now we're starting to, last time, you know, with, with Potties on our bill, a heavyweight. Uh, and now you've got two light heavyweight fights. People like the bigger boys, not, not for any reason. It's just that uh, the smaller boys are exciting. There's no doubt about it. But we inclined to have a lot of those, and now we, these guys are but bigger boys putting on, and just people like to watch the fans, not so much the people in boxing, but the fans love to see the heavyweights, the bigger heavyweights. 100%, and I think uh, that's what's going to bring some excitement is that bigger weight division as well. We, we, we always note, I mean, Ledruma Lamata, you were a, a lighter weight division your whole career, super bantam, bantam if I'm not mistaken as well. Bantam, weight and bantam. But, but seeing the bigger guys, does that uh, excite you as well in the tournament? They do seeing a bigger guy move. Um, I was watching, I was watching Sean when he was fighting uh, Gomez. Seeing a, a heavy weight move like that is interesting. Seeing a bigger guy move like that is interesting. It's been interesting for the beginning of boxing. I think um, if if you're talking about boxing, you will hear heavy weight. Their names is always popping out. Each each and every era, Mark Tyson era, Muhammad. Uh, 
Muhammad Ali's era. Um, I mean, if you're talking about boxing, Anthony Joshua's era, Wilder's era, Tyson Fury's era. You see, this era they're gonna call it Tyson Fury's era. You see, heavyweight has been, it's been, it's been there, man. It's been there, and it's, ex it's exciting to watch bigger guys fighting. Yeah, that's all. It is most certainly, it adds that dimension to the pool. Obviously, all, uh, a sprinkling of weight divisions as we look on this tournament, but then we see a contest as well, uh, Megan King against uh, Jonathan Sam, so we continue with the bigger guys towards the, the bottom part of the bill. Um, is, was that one of the things you wanted to push on this tournament? Yes, it is. Uh, you know, we, we want to, um, you know, we, we, as we're saying, we love people to come and make, we want to make it interesting and entertaining. And, as, and with our matchmaker, AB, he, he seems to get it right, so we don't question him. Uh, he's got it right so many times, so why now go and question him? And so when people offer us fighters, we get him to do the matchmaking, say this is the fighter that's available, find him an opponent that's, that's on par, and uh, the rest will be sorted out in the ring, which people love. You know, so, so yeah, we've got two, two of those heavier fighters, uh, and then obviously later on we've got some, some, some first, first uh, debutants and whatever, which is a good mix. You know, it is a good mix. And that as well, because I mean, you're looking at the boxing five tournaments, we saw the likes of Becky Maitze um, beating a Wonkatini last time and making it look easy. And then obviously Luduma Lamati steps into the occasion, gives, gets him another fight, and all of a sudden he's the main event on the tournaments. Um, could that be the same for some of these other younger fighters on the bill? Look, it's what boxing five do, it's a stage where we give fighters an opportunity. Everyone, we gave Awonketini same opportunity, we gave Mahit the same opportunity. Maybe now we'll be talking about Awonketini. We give everyone opportunity. So he, he took, uh, 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 Mahit took the opportunity and he showed he's a better man. And now he's going to another step. Now he has to show us he's ready to another step. Sure. That's all, it's exciting, man. It's exciting. We, the fighters are there to prove themselves and we're there to give them opportunity. That's what we do. Yeah, it's a stellar main event as well. It comes with a bit of history, as you mentioned, uh, having fought one of your previous fighters before. Let's go to the second bout of the evening. Um, Siam Tanda Wapela coming up against Sandiso Boy. Um, this is a fight, uh, obviously, Wapela trains with uh, Bernie Pellman, a uh, very good trainer and cut man in his own right. Two youngsters that really also need to step it up and, you know, see if they can create themselves a bit of a path on boxing bar. Well, you know, that's what... That's what we try to do, development tournaments, and now this time we've put on a welterweight, a welterweight, a Gauteng title fight. And, and we started, with, before we've never done any title fights, Gauteng or South African titles, but now Boxing 5 is now starting to look at it, because we believe with up and coming youngsters we have to now give them the opportunities. And that's why this time we've headlined it, because normally this would be our development tournament, but we think a development tournament headline by a title fight gives it so much more exposure and gives other boxers a chance. And that's why these boxers that have come along, they need to now step up and let's see where they go to from here. Well, definitely one thing that's happened, I've seen Wapella is more active on social media. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed that as well. He stepped up his game. He really is hungry. Came in shape for the first fight of his career where he had in Pretoria. His first time he's going to get a taste of boxing five. What is he going to experience? He's going to experience a cracker. That's what we do. Our matchmaker, as Uncle Lars said, our matchmaker, we don't question him. And we make sure he does the fights that everyone's looking forward to see and fight that balances. People want to see fights and people want to see entertainment. So this is what we're trying to do. And we don't know. We, you, we have counted. We said, ah, this fight is going to be good. Ah, this fight is going to be good. And remember, every time when Boxing Five make a fight, there is a fight of the night. Yes. And to everyone that we count, we don't know who's going to win it. So each and every fight is going to go all out. So it's exciting, man. I can't wait for that fight. I can't. Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously Ishmael Kadri won the last uh, fight and then Sean Portkita before him as well. So there's, there, there are those belts. And uh, obviously, if you vote for the fights of the Knights, you stand a chance to still win the 5,000 rand. That continues on this tournament. So you're keeping uh, strong with that. Um, the first bout of the evening, the opener, you know, two uh, boxers uh, in the welterweight division. This that I mentioned about the welterweights earlier, John Paul Khanani uh, taking on uh, Patego Notsone. Uh, a new look, Sebastian Rothman obviously coming into um, the fray as well as a good young trainer in the game. Um, his boxer JP is actually here in the gym sparring today. Um, what's your thoughts on that fight? Well, uh Again, you know, I, I keep blaming Leduma for bringing fighters. Now, this one I'm going to blame on you. No, <laughs> but seriously, we, we've been trying to put on 
um, Sebastian's fighters, and we, we try. And, and we just thought, it's, let's give him a chance. And, and the nice thing about this bill is you've got debutants, you've got a whole lot of different weights, and you've got, there's no, there's up and coming names, there's no big flashy name that's there that, 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 that the whole tournament revolves around. And the fight of the night belt is available. So it's available to all of the fights. So that's where we try to get the guys incentivized there to put on a fight that people say, geez, how was that fight? And, and I don't know what it is, but the last two tournaments we've had and we've put on the belt, both boxers have come to me and said, Uncle Larry, that belt is mine. First it was Portis and you go, I want it. And there's no, we have an outside judge with no ties to anyone. And he's, he's, very, he's been very, very good because everyone's agreed. And Ishmael said to me all the time, Uncle Larry, that belt is mine. And he proved it, and it was, both of those fights. But there were other fights that competed, but they were just that much better. So, so there's the thing. Now, these guys, they, they have an opportunity to earn themselves a belt on a development tournament. I mean, it's, it's, it's scary. It really is. I mean, that's what we want to do to the, for the fighters to feel important. And that it's not just a, it's not a cheap thing where anyone can get it, but it's, it, it does give it sort of stature. If you win it on a bill like this, then you, hopefully you've got a good future. 100%. And I mean, even thinking about a debutante winning a belt, I mean, it's absolutely left field, you know. And uh, you remember what it's like to make your debut many, many moons ago. And, uh, you know, this young fighter is going to go through the same thing again. Um, any words of advice? A word of advice, keep your hands up, focus, that's all brother, and also with this night of the belt, and this is not a choice, we don't say this one we, it's the people who choose the fight, not us, it's the people who are watching the fight, and people who are watching the fight at home, and people who are watching, and then what we do, we pick the winner, we go all there and choose the winner, it's actually people choose the winner, not us, we don't choose the winner, so like this thing and it keeps interesting because fighters go there and Uncle Lai, as he said, fighters always after we in, they said, ah, it's me who's gonna win the belt. Show us in the ring. That's our answer to them, <laughs> everyone. Show us in the ring and show the fans because we're not the one that picking, fans pick the people, pick the winner. Yeah, that's a good one to be a people's champ as well. It's always been a, a, is, a very big it title. Is, it is, it's actually the, 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 the winner of the, of, the, of, the, of the belt of the night. It's a people's champ because it's the people who said you did better than anyone today. 100%. That was an accomplishment in and above itself. Hopefully we can get a, a moment where the boxers are passing it on to the next guy and so forth, or we get multiple champions, two-time uh, fights of the night champions in the future. We'll see about that. Of course, you can catch all the action at the box camp at Boysons. Um, that'll be on the 5th of May, as you mentioned, right at the beginning. Um, gentlemen, do you have anything last year you just want to just say before we close here? I would like to say, you know, as, as Boxing Five, we're always looking to up our game. And, and we're not in competition with anyone, we just do what we do, and people can say what they like. You know, the fight of the night was very successful last time. So what we've seen is with, with the, um, the Gauteng champions and the SA titles, unfortunately the boxers only keep the belt after five defences on either one. Yeah. So, so we've, we took a view, we said, what, is it, what can we do to make it special for the fighters on our part. So what we've done is we've, we've got the permission from PSA where the boxer will be presented with their belt, as always, the normal Gauteng belt, and then it gets given back. But what we've done as Boxing Five, we've developed a Gauteng champion belt that will be given to the boxer and the winner will keep it which is different. And as we go along, it will be done, hopefully for the South African champions, titles that we put on, but this is a start. So once again, we bring in some new, innovative, and, and you know, there's, there's being chucked around here, but we fight for real belts. These are real belts. <laughs> and that, the, the pride that people have for that fight of the night, you can see, I mean, uh, there the parties won it, and he walked around with it, and now he's got the he's SA the title. SA so now, so what does it do? You know, we're not there and we don't compete with anyone. We just do what we do and mind our own business. All right, and then Luduma, I'll leave that with you as well. Obviously that belt, uh, yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll post that on social media as well so that people can also see that belt as well. It's exciting, brother. And I was talking to Uncle La, I said, do you know I'm a SA champion? I don't think he knows that I'm a SA champion. I went with his brother down 
and then he was sitting, waiting for the belt. I never show him a belt today, still waiting for that belt. Oh, yeah. So we decided, like, no, for Khateng title, look, let's Good give point. them. They said, you were fighting for title, go home, show your kids. I will never show my kids, I will never have that chance. I will just tell them I fought for the SA, but they will never see it. But if I said I fought for international uh, IBF, I'll show them. I fought for IBO, I'll show them. But I can't. My SA, my country's belt, I don't have it. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, that's another thing. We're here to motivate and push. That's Boxing Five. Do you want to say something? Yeah, I just want to say this, uh, you, you know, that from, from a Boxing Five point of view, it's, it's about the fighters. It's not about Boxing Five promotions or who they are or what we are. And we just go along and we just, whenever we have a tournament, we try to improve things. And again, I mean, the, the, the last fight of the night, we had 6,000 views of the competition and somebody who won it in Cape Town was a fighter that won it. And the, 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 the money that she got, the 5,000 rand, was deposited into account on Monday. She actually sent us a message telling us, you don't know how much this has changed my life. 5,000 rand. I'm, I'm saying that, that for some of us it's not a lot of money, but for some people it's like a million rand. And that's what we love. So for those of them, we just want to say this. We're not going to put that belt on social media. If you want to see the belt, come to Boyson's, the box camp, and you will see it being presented to the winner. All right. And then everyone, don't forget to put in your votes uh, for this next one as well to stand a chance of winning the 5,000 Rand. I put in my vote, but it got lost somewhere in the mail. So we got, out of 6,000 people, I'm glad it went to someone that really uh, deserved it as well. So I think congratulations to you guys for, for that as well. No, all good, Hayden, thank you. Once again, thank you for everything. You know, you really, and you're busy lately. There's so much going on. Sure. I mean, uh, you, you, you know, so we're just thankful that you can fit us in to give us a bit of exposure. Thanks. Thank you very much, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the 5th of May. Sweet, thank you, brother. Thank you.